Hey guys, I'm Dom Saxony Freestyle and welcome back to another review. This time I got a nice toy just from Team Black Sheep. Well, this is a little fun bag from Team Black Sheep. I just couldn't wait to open it. So, let's see what's in it. Inside, we got uh, several small bags. One, it's our VTX, the Unify Pro 32. A second bag with silicon wires. And third, we got our little linear antenna from Team Black Sheep. An extra a little shrinking tube to put over the VTX. Well guys, this is your VTX. It's small, nevertheless it's powerful. It got a size of 15 by 13, but it can still give you 400 milliwatts of power. It's perfect to put in a small build and can still fly into the distance. I'm gonna like this one. Now on top you got your solder pads. From to your right you got your signal wire for smart audio or crossfire. I'm not gonna be using this, I don't have any crossfire, but still. I can connect it to my, my flight controller, I can change my settings. Next to it you got your video inputs. Next one is a ground pad. Next to that you got your 5 volt out, it will go to your, your camera. Next you got another ground pad and then you got your 5 volt in. Don't go above 5 volt, you can fry it. Next, and this is what I like on this one, you got your switch. The latest version had, didn't have it, you had to put it on yourself. I broke mine instantly. Now this one's on. You can use this. To change your channel but do don't forget every TBS is gonna be delivered in European mode so not more nothing above 25 milliwatts you can unlock it by going to the second second channel and hold it in for more than 20 seconds and you can see the difference in your signal lights if it's blue it's still unlock when it gives you a blue and a red LED, it will be unlocked. For changing the channels, you can press this button. When it go, goes, it gives you one blink, you can change your channel. Two blinks, it will change your band. And with three blinking, you can change your, your bar. You can go over to 25 to 400 milliwatts. Further, uh, further in this, if it goes to 4 uh, red LEDs, you can put your temperature limits. 5 reds, you can go into pit modes, in and out. And by 6, you got crossfire setup, but same thing, I don't use this. Besides this, you got your connector. It's a UFL connector. It fits with the linear antenna it's included. I'm not going to be using this antenna, I'm going to use a pigtail that's already in my 5 inch quad. I got my controller in front of me. Now after you boot up your quad, Telemetry recovered. you can see in your startup screen how to go into the OSD, the OSD menu. You go throttle halfway, rudder left, pitch up, and now you'll go into the OSD menu. Now you got your main, you got your profiles. If you go to features and go right on your sticks, you got black box, VTX smart audio, VTX tramp, blood strip, power, and back. For the TBS, you got take the second one, VTX SA. 
in that menu in the top you can see what your frequency is I got rate band 6 it's 5843 and I'm on 200 milliwatts if you go down one you got the band you can choose between all pet shark boss cam one down you got all the channels then you got your frequency on what frequency you're on then you got your power it goes from 25 200 500 to 800 with this nano I don't know how this one works I'll figure it out later then you got set confirm yes and it will jump back to the right screen then you go back one more back go to the main menu save and exit what my problem was at the moment every time I go flying it jumps back to 25 milliwatts so every time I want to go fly I have to go back to uh, the menu and put it back to more power I'm gonna ask that later and we'll see how it, that one figures it out well that wraps it up for this VTX if you want a small and powerful VTX this is the one you want I'll put the link of Team Black Sheep down in the description and don't forget to subscribe hit the bell and like this video see you next time guys <laughs>